You're here because you want help with basic skills. Let's get started with some that are as basic as you can get. Hey there, njroot22.com here with a new vlog channel today. It's the How To Series. We're gonna demonstrate some very easy tips, tricks, and repairs, and general basic information. This is stuff that was once known by everyone, but now it's easily accessible on a moment's notice in the cloud. Whoa, excellent. You know, why waste brain space with helpful knowledge and information when you can fill that space with video games and binge watching? It's a win-win, just hit, hit the cloud up. So watch and copy what we do, then you can easily forget about it just as fast as, as that, and uh, you can fill it up with other useless stuff. But today's pilot episode, we're gonna go over a couple basic things. How to screw and unscrew screws. Whoa. And you know, along with that, there's some, uh, we're gonna cover the ancient history of what clockwise is. Man, that's, that's going way back in time there. And we're gonna go also take a stab at some more advanced rotating techniques such as replacing ordinary light bulbs. So let's get started. Hey there, njroot22.com here with a little tutorial to show you how to screw and unscrew a screw. Um, now, while my two-year-old can figure this out uh, just by, you know, simple ex you know, experimentation, you know, with the modern world and everybody getting things online, people tend to forget how to experiment. So we're going to mess with these two little screws here, and we're going to teach you how to screw them in and unscrew them. Now, it's pretty simple. Um, to screw it in, you... Uh, turn this little screw here clockwise and to unscrew it you turn it counterclockwise now however um i'm not sure how many people know what clockwise is because everybody has a digital watch or their smartphone to teach them how to uh, tell time so i think the clock now here's a little picture of a clock that shows you which direction time moves in and clockwise you know goes basically I can't explain it, it goes clockwise um, <clears throat> so if this little clock here doesn't help you figure that out um, then you know, like here here's the the screw I'm gonna screw it clockwise see how it goes in I'm turning it clockwise it goes in and to unscrew it you turn it counterclockwise. See now counter might be hard to understand for a lot of people. So the big uh, word for doing it the opposite way is anti. So we call it anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise you turn it the other way and it'll come right out. And you can use you can spin the the little thing and it comes right out. Boom bada bing. Counterclockwise. But maybe some people might need help. So what you can do to practice in your spare time is you know to screw in you can make a little diagram for yourself and that's to screw in and then to unscrew you turn it the opposite way which is counterclockwise so you can build yourself a little practice log here and you know you screw it in and then unscrew it so if that might help you there. So that's how you use a basic screwdriver. Um, you know, you never know when the power goes out and you don't have any kind of power tools, you might have to use this old fashioned relic here called a, a screwdriver, but you can easily learn with a little practice. And once you get it down, you, you know, think about it this way. It's like starting your car, pretend starting your car. And this way you could get into the habit of knowing what screwing in is. When you start your car, you're uh, screwing it in. Now, wait a minute. Don't most cars now have, don't even have keys anymore. They have these, uh, these buttons you press. Everything's a button now or a double tap. Uh, but there's no double tapping here. So, you know, that's basically how you do it. Now you can use the same tactic that you just learned screwing a screw in with light bulbs, you turn the 
to unscrew a light bulb, you go counterclockwise, or you might, you know, say anti-clockwise. But, you know, it may get confusing sometimes because you'll be under a light bulb sometimes, sometimes you'll be over a light bulb. So you gotta just don't do it too hard because if you think you're unscrewing and you're actually tightening, you could actually break the light bulb. And another thing to be careful of is to never do it on a hot light bulb. Although many light bulbs these days are LED and they don't get hot, don't get fooled because some light bulbs get over 300 degrees, the old uh, fashioned incandescent light bulbs. So make sure that you wait at least a minute or two before you uh, unscrew in a light bulb before you uh, change it, all right? So keep those little things in mind. Apply the same screw in and unscrew tactic to your light bulb and you should be just perfectly fine.